Yo, what's up guys? Bajiri here, bringing you another New World character update. This is what, like your fourth week uh, of the game? A couple weeks into level 60? Doing good, man. Having a lot of fun. My character, he's getting, he's getting there. He's getting pretty beefy. Um, I've made some changes since last time. You guys know me. I mean, I'm experimenting with different builds. Just having fun with the game. Um, but I do want to give you guys an idea of what I'm working with in case you guys want to do something similar. Because I actually do really like this build. Um, and uh, it's something that I want to experiment with as we go and I think it's something that can definitely um, be improved upon as I get better gear and stuff like that but let's go ahead and dive in to what I'm doing with this character at the moment which is um, rocking full heavy gear with 300 strength and a hundred plus constitution pretty freaking cool um, now one of the things about the game at the moment is it does have some like bugs which are like you know some unintended mechanics <laughs> but the way that I'm approaching these bugs is as if this is the way the game is right now and eventually they'll change it and I'm not really like ah oh, it's like messed up or whatever right so there are certain things that I want to make you guys aware of that will make you more powerful in the in PvP and in PvE and stuff and then if that's you know something that gets changed later on then we'll address it um First things first, full PvP gear, or full, like, you know, faction rep gear, is something that you really want to get. Um, this gear, ha well, this isn't full, this isn't faction rep, but it's really good. Um, this gear comes with, you know, good stats, a socket, refreshing, which reduces your max cooldowns by a flat amount, and resilient, which is designed to reduce critical uh, hit damage by you know four and a half percent per piece um but currently that stat is bugged to just reduce all damage on you by that amount so that is absolutely insane it's something that's probably going to get fixed the thing is your faction gear is something that you want to buy anyway it's just really good gear it's just a really solid set of, of gear that you can get as soon as you get level 60 basically if you just do a couple hours of um pvp quest farming and you're going to want this now you can also get pieces like this that have resilient on it and that have um, you know some cool stuff on it like this one has refreshing ward with resilient so refreshing ward isn't quite as good as uh, just refreshing but you know it'll work it'll do it'll do um, but it does have resilient on it and it has flat strength in a socket so it's just it's just good it's just good stuff high eye level that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for to upgrade my gear. But in the meanwhile, you guys want to buy that, because even when they nerf it, the critical damage reduction is still really good. But right now, it's like mega good. Um, and you'll notice that I have onyxes socketed in all my gear. Um, these are like just tier 4 onyxes. Um, similarly to the way resilience is bugged, um, onyx is also bugged to reduce all damage of you, on you by 2%, not just physical damage. So... And that's another thing, you know, like, Onyx gems are really good. You probably still want to socket Onyx gems um, later on, even after they fix it. But for now, you absolutely want to socket um, Onyx gems so that you can get the full physical reduction. And like I said, this is like, I'm trying not to necessarily, like, look at this as bug abuse. It's just like, this is the way the game is. And later on down the line, if they want to, you know, fix Onyx Gems, it's kind of just like nerfing Onyx Gems. They want to fix Resilience, they're just nerfing Resilience, and you still want to use it, it's just not going to be as powerful, but right now you absolutely want to use it, because it's really, really good. Um, so get your faction set, socket it with full Onyx, you'll be a little tankier, I mean, like, you're still going to get <laughs> war, wars, you're still going to take some damage, but this is going to help you guys out. Um, and I've, so I've socketed Onyx in, like, all my stuff. Um... I think that a lot of the gear that you're seeing right now is something that you're going to be familiar with from my last updates, but this is what I'm rocking most of the time. I do have, like, you know, a luck set that I put on just with, you know, flat luck on it. If I was doing more farming, I would probably have a set of gear with, you know, like, specific mining luck if I was mining or something like that. But that's what I'm rocking right now. Uh, those of you guys who are selling Onyx, uh, you're going to have to make some money. <laughs> you guys might want to go buy Onyx in the auction house as that, as that information comes out, but... We'll see. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll go buy all the Onyx off my server <laughs> and sell it for more. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, my weapons right now, I'm using um, a crit 
and crit uh, empower weapon. Um, and life breaker. I like life breaker, but I eventually want to get a terror crush or terror crash or whatever. Uh, because that has not dexterity on it, and it does still give me the Sundering Shockwave. So that's what I'm going to be looking for um, to farm once I get my, my hammer drop level a little bit higher. Um, and if you guys didn't know, there's a lot of information in this video. Um, how the drops work once you're at level 60 <clears throat> is you start off by being able to drop or you know having you know 500 eye level gear drop for you. And that means once you get an item that drops at 500 eye level, you can potentially get a piece of gear up to 505 eye level drop for you. And once that, you know, 503 eye level drops for you, you can get to 508, you know, and it goes up slowly like that. And you gradually bump up the, the highest uh, potential eye level that can drop for you over time just by having items drop for you at higher and higher eye level. So it's going to take a while for me to get that drop level up to 570, but when I do, I can get a really good hammer. Um, another thing that I've done is I put opal in these just to give you guys an idea of what I'm, what I'm doing. I'd like to, you know, I usually am bobbing and weaving and dip, dipping and dodging a lot uh, with Opal. Uh, so I do like those for my weapons, especially the, the, the heavy swinging ones. For the hatch that I have Opal in it, that's just what it dropped with. Eventually I'd like to put like a, I believe it's like a, an emerald or something that makes you, them take more, make your enemy take more damage when they're low health. I think that's really good for, uh, for a hatchet. Um, one thing I want to mention though, this is another one of those uh, bugs currently that you might want to make use of. Um, from what I'm hearing is that Rogue, the, the backstab increase, um, that applies to all crits. So you can basically look at Rogue as like a plus crit damage modifier, which plus crit damage is insane, especially when stacked with a weapon that has crit on it. So I was able to snipe this, uh, this axe off the auction house. It's, uh, so this is basically a crit and crit damage thing, but Keenly Empowered is also really good. Like basically for weapons, you want to look with Keen, you want to look at weapons with keen on it and then you know plus crit damage or in this case rogue or keenly empowered are all really good i think things that you know buff your damage off of crits and make you crit more often are really really good so this is the sort of thing that you might want to look for out of your weapons because you know i know that we're we're, we're looking at a lot of different bugs right now and i want to make you aware of them just because that's just kind of how like the way the game works right now which is still super fun it's just kind of funny that it's the it's the beginning of a new mmo it's got all these little quirks and things to to make use of until it gets changed and it's just kind of part of the game it's kind of fun so i, I want you guys to be in the loop on this stuff um another fun thing that's just kind of weird i don't think it necessarily has any impact on you but when you have bags that have like you see how my my uh my weight is is like affected by my armor or like it reduces the weight of raw fo raw food and cooked food and armor in my bags look this if you just like drag your bags you see what's happening to my inventory weight how it's going down isn't that funny you can do that for a while this does affect the the amount of azot that you spend when you fast travel but um I think you still become encumbered if you start to reach where you would normally become encumbered. But this number does decrease your Azoth travel cost by a very, very small amount. So whenever you guys log in, you might want to rotate your bags if they have the uh, percent uh, reduced weight thing. And once again, like, there's so many little quirks and stuff. And I hope that I'm not going to get in trouble for making use of that kind of stuff. It's nothing game-breaking or anything. It's just kind of funny. Um... But yeah, that's another little fun, fun little quirky bug that you guys can uh, play around with. I've, I've mentioned having water on your action bar before, but if you guys are wondering why I have this much water, is because having things on your action bar um, means it doesn't cost any weight, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you can see like my cooking, all my cooking stuff costs like has like weighs like three pounds. My weapons and stuff weigh like you know nothing. My armor at least weighs like nothing, so it's kind of funny. But like I said, once you become encumbered, I think I'll become encumbered about like right here, which is where I normally would be, but it's just kind of fun for the Azoth cost. Um, and you can do that when you're farming and stuff like that, just to make your Azoth cost a little bit less. Um, I wanted to mention something. This is another bug that's... Like, all these bugs that I've mentioned make you stronger and are beneficial to you. There's one that, make, that is not beneficial, and that has to do with, uh, with your stats. When you go above 250 strength... Um, what ends up happening is you get locked in an animation after you cast like one of your abilities, so you can't dodge. And somebody was on my stream saying that your that your attack, like your actual like auto attack animation, is a little bit slower when you have that much strength. I don't know if that's the case, but I know this is this is what I'm talking about. So 
usually with an ability you can kind of dodge to cancel the animation. But you'll notice that if I'm spamming dodge, you hear it? You, that's that's when I dodge, right? So you're, the whole animation kind of has to go off. You have to like gather your weapon and stuff before you can dodge. Now the, the way you get around that, if you want to use this much grit, is all you do is you just attack. And then you don't get stuck in the animation, right? So I'll show you again with, with this, I'll, I'll just attack. You don't get stuck in an animation that way, right? So that's something that you can try to do. I feel like it, it, it's it's not as big of a deal with the hammer stuff. To try to dodge out of the animation, but you just attack, and then it's not it's really not as not that bad. But what what you do get with, with 300 strength is you get grit. So you'll notice that my character kind of like glows and is on fire. It means that I can't be like disrupted on my attacks by anything other than like a hard stun, right? So like anything that would kind of like stagger you, you're immune to that. So you just get to go crazy and just chop, chop, chop. Which I really enjoy. <laughs> I, I like that, that Zug Zug. But the reason why I'm wearing heavy armor with this, um, well, one is that there's also been discussion about how light armor, so you don't just take whatever damage you were going to do and multiply that by 0.2 and then add that to your damage. It's more like it's increasing like the base amount, so it's more like a 8% increase, something like that. Um, I still like medium armor a lot. But the reason I'm, why I'm wearing heavy armor, besides the fact that maybe light armor and medium armor aren't giving you as much bonus as you might have thought, um, is because I am going oh, 300 strength and only 100 constitution, right? So I don't even have 10k health right now, um, which eventually I'll bump that up, having more than this. Um, but I really like having this much strength. So if I'm going to go lighter armor, you probably want to put more constitution on. But I feel like 300 strength and uh, 100 constitution would be insane for medium because your your stamina comes back a lot faster because of that 250 trait. Like you get a lot of stamina. Like right now it doesn't really show because I'm because I'm not attacking anything. Like I'm just swinging. But when I'm actually hitting stuff, your stamina comes back really fast. So I feel like it'd be really fun with medium because you can jump around like crazy. But yeah, you need some sort of durability uh, when you have this much strength and this low constitution. So I'm wearing heavy armor with that. But heavy armor is just pretty good anyway. I'm getting used to it. I still love the mobility of light armor and medium armor, but this is just kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, some discussion about dexterity. You can put 50 points in dexterity just to get that 5% critical hit. Up till now, I haven't really found that to be worthwhile. Eventually, when I have more stats to play with, I might do it. Um, what I really want to do right now, though, is I just need to get a little bit more stats on the weapon. I think t I think a high eye level terror crash or terror crush would do it. I basically need need two more stats to play with my weapons, right? or my gear somewhere, because then I could be 110 constitution, and I've done that before. 110 constitution, and uh, 300 strength, because then you can eat 40 constitution food, and you, then you're at 150 constitution for war, right? So then you get the 10% crit damage taken. And apparently this is bugged too, where it reduces it uh, by more than that, so. There's all the, like I said, there's all these little quirks of this game um, that'll probably get ironed out over time, but right now, they're just they're trying to make you aware of as many of them as I can that are helpful. But those are all kind of crazy stuff. Like, you can do some insane stuff with, like, uh, Fire Staff. Like, where you just, like, weapon swap over and over. Like, you, like, you Fireball Attack, Pillar of Flame, Weapon Swap. You just wear two Fire uh, fire Staffs and just go nuts by, like, super, like, rapid fire uh, Fireballing. I think you can do that with, uh, with Life Staff, too. So there's all these little freaky things that are going on. But I don't know, man. It's all part of the phone. I, I, I think this is still, you know, still pretty early in the game. So got to get this stuff ironed out. But... I'm going to be testing out some of this stuff. Um, that's basically my stats and my gear and whatnot. I do want to mention a little bit um, my weapon stuff. So I'm pretty much still playing the chargeless build. Apparently gravity is not bugged anymore. You can do damage with reap. So I moved, I think I, I moved the talent around from somewhere into gravity. Um, and one thing, oh, you don't want to use heavy pull. That's another, that, that is a, that is a negative bug right now. You do not want to use heavy pull because it makes your heavy attacks do less damage. So keep that in mind. If you're going to, um, go this tree, uh, and you're not going to use Maelstrom, sorry, then you probably want to go Mauler's Resolve into Enduring Strike into this. So I took a point out of this. Um, Mauler's Resolve is really good, but I feel like, I feel like my stamina comes back really fast right now. So I'm not, I'm not using Mauler's Resolve, but it is really good. Uh, but yeah, I'm experimenting with gravity now because I do use two abilities that cause pulls, right? I use I use Reap that causes a pull, and Maelstrom causes a pull. So if people get held 30% longer, then that could be really good for me. Especially because I'm not using Charge. Um, for a little while there, I was experimenting with Execute. You'll see a few videos of me playing Execute. It was pretty fun. 
I still think that it's hard to land and it's unreliable, and I find Reap to still be pretty good. Uh, Charge is fantastic, though. Once again, don't don't get me wrong. Charge is really, really good. I just, I've been having fun playing these two, playing Maelstrom and uh, Reap along with uh, Gravity Well, just running at people and then just like doing big AoE combos like Maelstrom for two ticks and then Reap, like when they're all grouped up the middle, is really big damage. I like it a lot, so that's fun. Um, that's what I'm doing with my Axe build. Um, the Warhammer build, I changed it up, so you guys have seen me use Clear Out, and you guys have seen me use Wrecking Ball. Uh, after Twitch Rivals and uh, seeing Grimm's, my main man Grimm's use Armor Breaker, I've been trying it out and it's a lot of fun. Um, I have Rend on the Shockwave from Armor, or from, uh, from uh, Life Breaker, right? So it Rends, but you also have a Rend off Armor Breaker too, so with this talent right here. It, it, this hits pretty hard too. And uh, it adds grit to the attack. You don't really need grit. You'll notice I took out the kind of the, the grit talents because I don't really need them because I have perma grit. But you need it to get to this talent. But yeah, the the rend is pretty nice on it. It's a 10 second cooldown and a 10 second duration on that rend. So you can keep up rend, you know, almost 100% of the time, right? So and rend is pretty powerful for you know making people take a lot more damage. So I've been using armor breaker. It's been pretty fun. Um, this is the tree that I used to to do armor breaker, but still get the the slow. Still get the uh, stamina damage, still get um, power through pain. Uh, pretty darn cool. Pretty darn fun. Uh, so yeah, and this is what you can do in, in, you know, PvE if you're using the hammer. You just armor break, heavy attack, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, but I think that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I haven't really messed with my hatchet at all. I, I, maybe I put the last point in. I think I put the last point in crit. Um, what I want to experiment with is having my... my uh, my like life staffers using rending throw and using infected throw and war to debuff people for us and then just using like berserk to like heal themselves and make themselves uninterruptible and maybe like you know take some of these talents so they can have defy death too that'd be pretty cool um but yeah i think that's pretty much what i'm looking at with my build right now the main thing i wanted to talk about was go through some of these bugs that, that you guys can use um to be more powerful to do, just because this is going to be the meta stuff right so if you weren't aware of it this is probably the things that people who are super serious with the game are doing and you can put that into use for your own self, uh, like full PvP gear with, or at least full resilient gear with Onyx gems. Be as tanky as you can be. Um, I want to show you guys the strength thing because this is really funny. I like it a lot. The the grit on everything it feels really good. Like you're not getting staggered by people. You're just like chopping through their attacks. It's pretty funny. Uh, with a little bit of Constitution, as I get better gear, I'm gonna try to maintain 300 strength and pump Constitution. That's the main thing. If I had way too many stats to play with, maybe I could do five points of Dex for the crit. Something to think about. Crits are fun, um, but I think most of us pump Constitution, um, and that should be that. But uh, we will be on stream pretty much every day, uh, weekdays at least, gaming, playing New World. I'm having a blast with this. There's lots of different things to talk about. I just wanted to go over a couple of the main things that were on my mind for this video. So make sure you guys give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a nice little comment and uh, subscribe, enable notifications so that YouTube keeps showing you my videos. And uh, we will see you guys next time and on the stream. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.